This time, I want to teach you how to knit the garter stitch necklace. Hey, it's Denise from Lumahat.com, and for a complete list of supplies and more information, be sure to visit the website. All right, let's begin with the cast on. I'm going to knit using a single strand of worsted weight yarn, which I'm going to secure to the anchor peg with a simple knot. You can use a slip knot if you're more comfortable. And then I'm going to wrap 20 pegs. I'm going to the right. You can go to the left direction, really doesn't matter. And I'm gonna do 20 pegs because I want five straps. If you want six, then do four more or eight if you want two more, all right? And I'm going to go ahead and knit off on peg 20 and pull on it because it's a little loose and bring that knot close to the peg to tighten things up. And then I'm gonna turn around because we're knitting flat. And I'm using the flat version of the knit stitch. So to do that version, you're gonna take the working yarn and put it loosely over the existing loop and then knit off the bottom loop over the top. Again, just lay the yarn flat over the peg and knit the bottom loop over the top. And then just keep going. You're going to continue knitting all of your pegs. So once you reach peg one, which is where you started, that means you've finished your cast on and you're ready to now knit row one. And for row one, you're going to purl 20 pegs. So you're not gonna slip that first stitch. You're gonna go ahead and start with peg one. Take the working yarn and place it under the existing loop and take your hook from the top, scoop up and create a new loop. You're gonna take the old loop off the peg and then put the new loop on the peg and pull to tighten that stitch. All right, let's do that again. From the top, we're gonna scoop up and create a new loop. Take the old loop off, put the new one on and pull to tighten that string. So, I'm sorry, that stitch. All right, so you're gonna continue. In my case, I'm a, I am using 20 pegs for five straps. So I'm going to purl my 20 pegs. And once I am finished with that last peg, which is peg 20, um, I'm done with row one and my row of purl stitches. And now I'm ready for row two. And I'm going to turn around and knit 20 pegs. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and remove the knot off the anchor peg. And now what we're gonna do is just knit rows one and two nine more times for a total of 20 rows. So in other words, one row of knit, then one row of purl. You're gonna do this set nine more times and then you're ready to knit the strap. And this particular picture shows six straps, but we're only going to knit five. For every four pegs, you get a strap. So let's start with the first strap, which we're going to knit on four pegs, one row of purl, one row of knit, until we reach 24 inches. All right, one, two, three, four. Those are the four pegs I'm going to knit. And I'm gonna start with the row of purls. So one, two purls. Here's my third and my fourth purl stitch. And we're knitting flat, so we're gonna turn around to go in the opposite direction with those four knit stitches. So here's the first, second, third, and fourth, and I used a flat. And I'm gonna turn around again and start that purl four row, then knit four, purl four, until I reach 24 inches, and that's my desired length. You can make yours shorter or longer for your first strap, and then um, we'll measure as we knit. You don't wanna just keep knitting and knitting, and I don't give you number of rows. We're going back and forth, and we're going to measure instead of rows, because it's gonna be much more uh, annoying 
to give rows to count rows than it is to just knit and measure and before you measure make sure to stretch out those stitches as you can see the fabric will get thinner or more narrow and longer as you stretch so if you don't stretch you're not getting an actual uh, correct measurement so here I'm going to measure for the first time and my strap is doubled right so I'm measuring from where the strap begins and from where it's hooked still to the uh, loom so as you can see here um, I'm showing eight inches right but I want 12 because I actually want 24 so these eight inches that I'm measuring here with my strap folded I have to multiply by two right this just makes it easier because you don't have to take the project off the loom in order to measure when you measure two so you're measuring from right here that's where you start the measurement of the strap and so that says eight and if I continue to go it will be approximately because it's folded 16 inches and so it is you see again I'm going to measure while it's folded because I don't have to then take it off all right once I have the number of of when I have the length that I want then I'm going to take the working yarn and go around those four pegs at least two times I went three but it's really not necessary two times that you go around is enough and cut the working yarn and um, I'm showing you how to take it off I'm actually going to add another color here to my strap but this is how you're going to take off uh, that yarn make a slip knot so that you can secure this yarn um, so you can go ahead and work on the next strap so I'm going to put it on the peg that's next to it right here you can actually put it on the one of the four pegs you were working on and now we're ready to go to the second strap I'm going to count four pegs which is exactly what you're going to do get your working yarn and make a slip knot with that strand of yarn it's the one that you just cut off a few minutes ago and then um, you want a longer tail than that so uh, my tail is a little too short so I'm taking a longer tail and making a slip knot and I'm gonna put that slip knot on the first of the four pegs that I'm going to be working on for that second strap and I'm going to take off the existing loop off the peg so that I can put this new yarn this new strap under this new slip knot under the existing loop because I want to do a purl stitch so I have placed that loop under I tighten my um, stitch and then from the top I'm going to scoop down and bring and create a new loop and this is a little tricky take it off and put the new one on and now I need to tighten that and I'm going to take those two strands of yarn with which I made um, the slip knot and now I'm going to go ahead and make a knot with it and this is going to secure it you don't really need to do this but I find that it secures the yarn better when I create that knot and now I'm ready to go to the second peg and do the next purl stitch for that row and then another one because I need four purl stitches so we finish with one more purl stitch and when you cut your yarn and come back like you did here and add it you get now a space that you have between one strap and another see that creates that space so that you have four um, pegs four stitches that create each strap and again we're knitting flat so here's my four knit stitches and once I finish that then I'm just gonna come back and start again knitting um, back and forth flat right those four stitches until this time I have 30 inches because I'm just gonna add six inches to every strap 
You can make as many or as little as you like. So I have added another bit of color to that first strip uh, because I wanted it to be two-tone. And so let's measure out again. And first I remount uh, that loose piece of yarn, that strap. And now I'm ready to measure with my strap folded in half, right? So I wanted 24 and so it measures 12 folded and 12 times 2 is 24. So I want to show you that it does uh, measure out. All right, that was the first strap. Second strap, I wanted to be 6 inches more, which was 30. And again, it's folded in half. So here you see that folded, it is 15, which times 2 would give me the 30 inches that I wanted on the second strap. Now, I'm using a ombre yarn that gives me shades and so I want it to add a different color uh, to my third strap so these are lighter I wanted to do this lighter as well and so here's my third one I just wanted to show you also you could use this to change your strap color midway uh, at the beginning at the end anytime so you can use this technique not just to add your next strap you can use this technique to change the color uh, on the strap like I did with the first one which is a two-tone stripe strap all right so here I added uh, that third one and I did my pearl don't forget to tighten your that first stitch that you add on and again I do my knot you don't have to all right and then we just keep going My third strap is going to be 36 inches, which is 6 more inches than the second strap. And then I'm just going to do the next one 6 more. And I'm going to continue to do that until I've done my 5 straps. Now remember, you can make yours any size you like. In fact, you can make all of your straps the same size and have as many as you want so here's my guide for my five straps and on the one that was six I just added six more inches all right and now we're ready for the cast off I'm gonna start with the first strand here and so I take the slip knot off the peg where I had secured the yarn and undo that knot and now we're just doing these first four pegs right so with your hook take the loop off that first peg and we're going to move from that peg over we're going from left to right and tighten your stitch and then knit off now you only have stitches on three pegs so you're going to go to the last peg which is peg three and move it over to the right so now you took the loops off the first and fourth peg basically and you brought them to the middle and now you knit both of those off and so you only have two pegs with stitches you're going to bring the working yarn under those stitches and with your hook from the top scoop up and feed that working yarn through those stitches those two stitches that you have left now take the loops off the pegs for those two stitches which both should have the working yarn through them and you cast off and now your first strand is off the loom right you have this long tail that you left because you need to weave that in and it's also going to help to shape your strand so take a hook a crochet hook and feed it through the edge and bring that long tail strand through it and again what you're going to do now with that strand is that it's going to help you shape this uh, strap so that it looks nice neat and almost like it's got a tip on it right it rounds it off because you don't want it to look square you want it to look rounded on the top then just continue to weave in that loose strand that long tail and usually I 
take my um, strand that I'm weaving in and I'll go in two directions. So I might take it upward first and then come back down in a different direction. And I try to do that before I cut off the excess yarn. And again, I'm using this to help shape my strand and correct any boo-boos or anything that looks kind of off. I use this strand uh, to make it look better. And then once I think that I've done enough um, weaving in of the strand, then I'll get my scissors and pull on it just a little bit and then cut off um, any extra strand. But you have to feel comfortable that you did enough of weaving in of the yarn before you cut it off. And then there you go. That's strand one. And I just need to do four more. Let's add the buttons or whatever you want to add. So put it on the wrong side, you know, those side you don't like, and then bring the first strap up. And what you're going to do is take that big part there and fold it like this. And uh, I did tighten that uh, cast on, but you don't have to. I'll put a link in the description for a video. And then um, I'm going to be using charms for this particular one. Get a needle and make sure that it goes through uh, the section where you're going to be attaching it. I'm going to use just regular thread. And some of them, it doesn't matter what you put on because, again, these are charms and not buttons. But whichever you decide to use, make sure that your needle works. And make sure that your placement is correct, right? So you see that this is where the first one starts and that's where I'm going to attach where it ended. And I'm going to start with this charm and from the back I'm going to start sewing. And I did put a little knot on um, the end of my thread. And you could use thread or you can unravel your yarn and make matching thread. In this case it wasn't really going to matter because it wasn't going to show so much. And so I went ahead and used some thread. And now to go from one end to the other when I'm ready to do that, I don't want to do that from the opposite side. So I place my uh, thread where I want it. And then I'm going to bring it up. And I'm going to hide it through here. See? Through the back of that strand, that strap, is where my thread will go from one end to the other so it doesn't show up on the back side I mean the back side doesn't show and it doesn't really matter but if you're like me even what no one sees and only I see I want it to be nice and so that allows uh, me to keep that thread from going from one end to the other okay and then I'm just gonna go ahead and secure this nicely um, I'm going to go through that uh, opening at least five times just to make sure that uh, it doesn't come apart when I least want it to right <laughs> like when I'm wearing it I don't want it to come apart so I continue to sew this in place and then that was the first one which is easy but I'm going to add those four more and I'm going to make mine all different again this is yours so you could do whatever you want find your favorite 
buttons or your favorite charms and put them put your strap wherever you want i'm going to align mine but you don't have to you can even stagger them if if that's what you like and try to place them where you want them to be so that you can get a quick visual of what your finished project will look like and for me that's five different charms instead of buttons because I looked through all my buttons and I didn't like any of them and I'm not going shopping so this is what I'm doing and here is what I have I hope you guys like it if you did watch more videos and even better yet subscribe